What up, world? So I saw Son of Batman. It's the new uh, direct-to-DVD DC animated movie. Uh, it's based on the graphic novel Batman and Son. It's um, it's it's low key like uh like Batman was on Maury Povich and shit. Um, the the League of Assassins it comes under attack, and um. And, and, and Deathstroke attacks Ra's al Ghul, and it just it leads to Talia having to take her son to Gotham City, and it's like, hey, hey, Batman, we we have a kid together, and then Batman, like his, his reaction is, is typical, you know, what I'm saying, he's, I'm Batman, I get ass, of course I have a son out there somewhere, uh, he he's like ten, and it's just Batman like having to adapt. To, to a son slash a new sidekick and um having to having to show his sidekick that you you fight crime you do what's right and you don't just you don't kill and you don't base your every action on on revenge and um and and just shit like that like I don't want to get too into it because I'd be trying to not go into spoilers um you there was there's so many like lesser known underrated slept on Batman villains in this movie, uh, Killer Croc, Deathstroke, uh, Man Bat, and then they even show there there's a portion where they like mention Two Face, mention Joker, like it's I just I, I love what they did with that. I love that this Batman is the Batman that was in Justice League War. Jason O'Mara does the voice again. Um, he looks exactly the same. It's the new 52 Batman that was introduced, like I said, in the Justice League War movie from a few months ago. The animation is cool. The animation with these movies is always cool. The story is cool. Um, I love that they're pulling from, from comic books. They're not cr come creating their own characters, their own stories, their own villains. Um, I mean, that's what I wish the movies would do. The voices were good. Like, Thomas Gibson was dope as Deathstroke. Um, uh, Gus Fring from Breaking Bad, he voices, uh, he voices Ra's al Ghul, um, like Jason O'Mara, man, like, if, if they keep him as Batman, I mean, he might be the, the, the second best, he might be the best voice actor as Batman behind Kevin Conroy, of course. There's not a lot of complaints that I have with this movie, I mean, like, the, the, the main thing I didn't like was how spoiled and how... Um, how much of a, a a spoiled little bitch Damian Wayne was being? He wasn't raised by Batman, so you know why he's acting like that. So it's tolerable. Like it's not even really a complaint. So in my opinion, man, I would say the Son of Batman is diggity dope. I mean, I give all of these movies diggity dope ratings. I just I, I love them. I love the DC. I wish DC could do live action movies like they're doing animated movies because they're all great. Man, have you seen Son of Batman? Um, do you plan on seeing it? Did you buy it? Um, I mean, what is your, uh, favorite? I had a question in mind earlier and now I forgot it. I don't want to ask the same question. What's your favorite DC animated movie? Cause like mine, like I, I probably say it, I've reviewed, like I've reviewed these movies for like a year and a half now. And I think every video I do these movies, I say my favorite one is under the red hood. This comes close to being as, as good as Under the Red Hood, but it's it just it still didn't make it. Um, say DC decides to focus on characters other than Justice League as a team, Superman and Batman. Who do you want them to focus on? Do you want to see Aquaman get his own animated movie? Flash. We kind of got uh, the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox was Flash centered, but it wasn't Flash without the team, you know. Um, you want another Green Lantern, Cyborg, Martian Manhunter. Um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it no matter what they put out. So I mean, it, it doesn't make a difference to me, man. Um, it's, I got my neighbor's review coming up. I'm, I'm I'm slipping on my raps. I'm gonna end up dropping a rap here soon. Um, I just got a lot of shit going on, man. Peace.